Dirang, a place of immense scenic beauty, natural marvel, a place of bliss and quietude. Dirang has an idyllic location for a peaceful retreat in the hills of eastern Himalayas with the snow-capped mountains, gushing streams and lush greenery. It is located in West Kaming district in the Arunachal Pradesh. Kaming flows through Dirang. It is the Bhoroli or Jia Bhoroli river, a tributary of Brahmaputra. At the eastern Himalayan foothills, Dirang is at an elevation of around 5,000 feet. It is geographically a rich area. It is rich with its bioculture diversity. The area is enriched with tribal culture and traditions. Aka, Bogun, Brokpa, Miji, Sherdukpen, Monpa tribes belong to the Dirang region. Almost all tribes are Buddhist and they follow the teachings of Tibetan Buddhism. Life and livelihood are deeply rooted with the nature. Dirangjong, a historical site. It is a fort built in the 17th century to protect Bomdila from neighboring states. And if you go to down, you go around that place, uh, that place, that will be different than dialogue. So it's different from us, and the Sangha is different. So, Preservation measures prevailing here are not appreciable at all. Apart from cultural heritage, Dirang should draw conservation importance from its natural heritage. The region indeed contributes to environmental economy, climate stability and human well-being. It provides crucial habitat to many iconic spaces. Songs of birds echo throughout the valley. Above all, Sangti Valley in Dirang is a wintering habitat of black neck cranes. The migratory species comes here from Tibet, Queen High Plateau in China and Ladakh. These birds forage in Sangti Valley near Dirang town and Chug Valley and Doblo River in Shergaon. They feed on the tubers of sedges, plant roots, earthworms, insects, and other invertebrates, frogs, and other small vertebrates. When you come to Dirang, you can easily come to Sangti, seven kilometers away from Dirang. Many bird lovers and ornithologists know Sangti Valley as a place of black neck crane. A bird species come from Tibet in winter. Local people call it Tung Tung Karbo. They may also feed on fallen grains of barley, oats and buckwheat and will sometimes dig up and feed on potatoes, carrots and turnips. It is rivered in Buddhist traditions and culturally protected across much of its ranges. A small group of 20 to 40 was once known to regularly visit the Huonhiri area in the Apatani Valley until 1975, but now they ceased. 
black-necked crane is the most important of the migratory winged visitors to the Sangti Valley. Arrival of the rare cranes are considered auspicious by the people and they revel the cranes as a symbol of fortune. The number of migratory avian visitors are in decline owing to loss and shrinking foraging area, changing agricultural practice, adventure sports and feral dogs. Apart from shrinking foraging areas, high voltage power line and fennel dog pose threats to the winter visitors. When I came in 2008 and 2009, 2010, in that duration, the birds were uh, really happy being there and uh, feeding very well. But uh, in 2013, I noticed one thing that uh, few, uh, some kids, they want to go to close to the bird to uh, photograph with their mobile phone or small cameras. So they, they got uh, disturbed, I think, because after, after 2013, for three years, I think uh, the bird were, were not c c coming to the place. But uh, after three, four years, probably in 2017 or 18, I got them back there again. So I think uh, once they get disturbed by the people or, you know, if they think uh, the, the place is not that safe for them, they, they don't come in the, in the next year. There were no sighting of trains for few years since 2000. Later, they came back, but with a very few numbers. The decline in numbers of black neck cranes is not only a matter of concern among conservationists, but of local people at Sangti too. Paragliding, drones are new disturbances to the crane folks. The birds encountered with strange flying objects like drones and gliders in the sky and on their way back flies back to another place. This time uh, in February 2021 I came with my clients here. I got one individual and uh, it is good that uh, yeah, the birds are still coming but uh, I feel uh, they are li still little scared because uh, always they come uh, in the pair or in a group but this year there is one bird, one individual. Apart from the shrinking open space, cultivation land and fennel dog problems, growing tourism activities, movements of tourists, selfie tendency, close standing tendency and various adventure sports appears as new serious threats to the black neck trends. Earlier they, they were regular in uh, Sankti Valley, but now you know in certain years they don't come. The reason is that you know the Sankti Valley when I visited first in 90s, it was you know everything was very smooth. But slowly I could see that road has been widened. Slowly it became busy. Then electricity line, it was not there, but electricity line was laid. 
number of visitors has increased. The local population has also increased. So in the process, you know, the Sankti Valley has uh, lost lot of its, you know, greeneries, its open space. And due to electrocution, one or two birds have already died. So because of all this disturbance, I think Sankti Valley doesn't have very bright future. Jamitang Valley also, the similar problems are there, but birds are still coming. The good news is that uh, during last winter, a number of birds were seen in Assam also. That means they are spreading in winter to one or two places in Assam. It is the first sighting in the history of Assam. They stayed for one week in February 2021. Proposed hydroelectric projects likely to affect the roosting and foraging ground of this endangered species. Locals and Buddhist monks has been protesting hydroelectric projects as they are a grave threat to the natural balance. A group of Buddhist monks in Tawang had opposed hydropower projects. Incident of firing by government forces took place and protester monks were killed and injured in Tawang. Locals believe cranes are incarnation of 6th Dalai Lama who was born in neighboring Tawang. This species is classified as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List. Decline in numbers of the birds every year disappoints the locals of Sankti Valley. Disturbing activities are increasing day by day. Despite negativity and despair, people of Sankti expect forks of cranes. A season without any crane is believed as a sign of misfortune. They eagerly wait for the Thung Thung Karmo every season.